Andito na po tayo sa Ibaan, Batangas at andito tayo sa Denzo. Uh, meron silang project, yung Fresh Bite Smart Agri Tech Farm. So, tingnan natin ano ang makikita natin doon sa loob. So, ting ano nila, greenhouse nila. Morning. Morning. Hello, buddy. Stand, Stand. Stand. Oh, sige, sige, sige. Morning. Morning, po. Morning, po. Morning, po. Morning, sir. Hello. Hey, morning. Sir, morning. Sir, 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 morning. Sir. Morning, sir. Morning, morning, sir. 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 Morning, Hi, Sophia. Hi, Sir. 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 Hi, those are the um, crops coming from our greenhouse, so we tried na rin po. So if you'd like, sir, kuha kayo ng ano, para you can try uh -oh. na rin po. Sophia, try. Arika. Tapos mixed ano, salad yes, greens. Yes, sir, for the mixed salad greens. So we, not just the lettuce, but we have kale, like komatsuna, and some misuna din po inside. This, ano po. Tapos you can add the microgreens din sa salad. Ma'am, alika, try mo na. Huwag ka mahiya. Come here. Uh -oh. Tapos ito po, uh, dito po, niluluto pa na siya, namin si Sir oh. Fred, pero we have the kale chips, ito po, this is really very good. So if you'd like to try na rin po, so also we have the dill dip, we use the dill and parsley inside the greenhouse din po. Wow. Plus, ito po yung nasa R&D namin ngayon, Japanese and Thai melons po. So basically, yung bricks maker niya is around 14 to 18 na po. So hopefully in the next cycle, na perfect na namin siya, para we can also transfer the mass production here in our Iban. So please do try. Tapos ito din po yung aming iced tea with mint. Yeah. And this is yung ano namin. Talagang kale gusto smoothie. Ipa, yes, gusto ko pong ipatry sa inyo si kale smoothie. So please do try na po today. Sige po. I am Aleli po. I'm Aleli Garcia from the okay. Philippines. Okay po. Uh, uh, Vice President po for Corporate Division as well as yung COO po na din sa Philippines. Ayan. Po. Sige po. Ay, no, try natin. Especially for the kale Inuna talaga yung <laughs> Mm. 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 Otherwise, so very, very particular. Bloom, sir. Business related to agriculture. Why is that so? Italagang ano kayo? Ang background yun? Hindi, communication ako. Okay. Pero way back, long long time ago, yung mga TV shows ko related to agriculture. So nung uso na yung vlogging, just recycling the old stuff. Um, 
Pwede naman po. Kaso ano eh, kasi since online kami, wala kami mga calling card. Anyway. Opo. Thank you, sir. Ha? Sa region po kayo? Opo. Sa region. Um, yan, suki namin sila, Ma'am Gigi. Mm, yan, suki namin yung mga yan. Galing ng show mo. Ang daming interesado. Hindi pa kala kwento nila na nag-venture sila sa agriculture dahil napanood na yung show. Ang dami, ang dami. Ba? <laughs> May ibang kasamaan din kami dyan na nauna sa amin, yung mga taga Board of Investment. Mm. So, pag ka napakilala rin kita. Uh, BOI. BOI, yes. BOI. Hello, sir. Francis, sir. Body pa. Vlogger. Uh -huh. Agree uh -huh. sa YouTube. Vlogger, sir. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh -huh. Iba-vlog nyo to, sir, later? Yes, yes, yes. Ah, yes. Okay. Uh -huh. So, you have the reach, sir. Yes, yes, so, yes. Pwede yes. natin gamitin yung platform yan, sir, para sure, sure po. cascade natin yung information na yung mga gantong modern farming projects ay mga projects na pwedeng i-register sa amin sa mm. at makakuha sila ng incentives fiscal incentives sir so this includes yung mga tax holidays ibig sabihin in the first 4 hanggang mga 7 years of commercial operations mm -hmm. holiday yung kanilang corporate tax payment mm -hmm. so hindi sila magbabayad mm -hmm. laking tulong din yun, sir sa mga Sige, sir. Let me know pala, sir, kung anong episode ang gusto niya i-produce na related sa DOI. Well, actually, kung ano po yung, ano, kung ano po yung priority ninyo, mm -hmm. uh, we can adjust naman. Uh, depende sa ano. Uh, Siyempre, walang... i-tweak nyo pa yan. Kailangan something na very interesting. Well, uh, oo. Uh, ano na yan? Uh, Kayo na yun, sir. Kami na yan. Kayo na yun. Oh. Oh, kailangan sir. namin, sir, yung platform nyo kasi... Yung incentives kasi sir namin available sir for all eh. Whether mm -hmm. it's a small company, whether it's a large company, mm -hmm. or whether it's a Filipino corporation or a foreign corporation. Basta naman ina-allow ng constitution at nakapasok na sa Pilipinas. Mm -hmm. Basta yung activity niya ay uh, eligible naman for registration. Ibig sabihin kasama dun sa priority listing namin. Mm -hmm. Pwede naman yun sir i-register sa amin and develop mm -hmm. incentives. Isa na sir yung mga gusto namin yung ano, mga modern farming. Uh -huh. yung nagre-register. Maybe because they parang they have limited information about it or how to go about the BOA register. Yeah. Kaya Apa -apa. malaking tulong sir kung pakilend nyo sa amin sir. Sige sir. I'm Joseph Mendoza from Denso, Philippines. We will have the presentation and then the farm tour, uh, greenhouse tour and the post-harvest uh, facility namin. So you will see the total uh, area no, ng ibaan farm. Sino ba si Denso Philippines? Who is Denso Philippines? So basically, we are located in Kanlubang, in Carmel Ray Industrial Park. So we were established in 1995. We are a PESA and BOI registered uh, company, depende sa produkto. No? So currently, we have around 2,100 employees. So we are into automotive, automotive parts manufacturing. Then, we, are, we also have a design center who's doing the hardware design for instrument clusters. We are located in Alabang. And ito pong uh, smart agri-tech namin here in Ibaan, Batangas. Maybe you are asking why you're going into agriculture no? later on. Uh, I will present it to you. But so far in Philippines, ito ang product concentration namin, meter clusters. So... Kung mapapansin nyo, yung RPM, yung, yung uh, speedometer, RPM, fuel gauges, no? sa sasakyan, kami po ang gumagawa from raw materials to finished goods. Then, we uh, supply it, uh, in-export namin yan no? in ASEAN region, China, Japan, and all the way to America and uh, Europe. Okay? So, this one, ito, uh, this is the next uh, uh, foundation namin for our for a future business, yung ADAS, no? yung autom automated driving and assist system. So, kung mapapansin nyo sa bumper, di ba, yung um, ano yan eh, nag tumutunog, pag mababangga ka na, or malapit ka ng mabangga, yan yun. So, we're doing it from raw materials to finished goods. This is the question, no? why are you going into agriculture? Based on our study, no? uh, current Philippine situation, Basically, ang population natin is increasing at a, at a rate of 1.5% per annum per year. Okay? 
So, nag-i-increase, uh, yung tangent ng increase natin are getting uh, higher and higher. However, in agriculture, we have one of the lowest productivity index, around 0.6% lang, compared with other countries, Vietnam, like 2.21, Thailand, Indonesia, and the rest. So, meaning, yung increase ng population and agris, ang, ang, ang increase lang ng productivity ng agriculture, hindi siya match. That's why, nagkakaroon tayo ng problema in uh, uh, food sustainability. No? Uh, mapapansin nyo sa news, no? we have already shortages ng onions, no? mamaya magkakaroon naman ng rice, sugar, etc. Et so, that point is actually... Uh, one of uh, our problems sa, sa Philippines. Now, Philippine farm characteristic is like this. Currently, our farmland is around 7.2 million hectares uh, Philippine lang. No? But basically, ang, these are basically 1.3 hectares lang ang average farm size. So, quite small. No? Then, normally, it's family-owned and the age of our farmers are getting higher, 53 years old. So, key point is how to sustain this one later on, no? to invite younger generation to go into farming. As well as, ang average income lang nila is 100,000 per annum. So, medyo maliit. Okay? So, how to improve this kind of situation is one of our dream. Now, what is the current problem? No? One is, Yung mga farmlands, they are converting into ecozones or subdivisions. That's why yung farm natin, uh, available na, na agricultural lands, are getting smaller and smaller. Plus, we have a uh, low mechanization or kaizen activities. No? Normally, ang farmers natin, they just go into yung normal ano nila, stuff nila, kung ano yung nakagawian. Okay? So, Walang kaizen activities or what we call in Japanese yung continuous improvement to increase productivity. Then third is, as I mentioned kanina, yung decline ng farmer population. Okay? The average age is getting higher and the younger generations are not keen into going into agriculture. Then lastly is yung uh, supply chain ng agricultural pr products from farm to market. No? Mataas ang uh, yung wastage based on our studies is around 40% no? tapo na yon. so if you have for example 100 kilos coming from Baguio pagdating dito sa supermarket 60, ki 60 kilos na lang yun 40% is tapon so ma malaki yung nawawala okay so basically yun uh, that's then so would like to challenge ourselves to provide solutions to this kind of problem in Philippines okay that's why, based on agricultural best practices and dense of Philippines strength in manufacturing, we would like to create a 1.5 industry for agriculture. And we vision to create and promote a productive, efficient, high quality and profitable business for the farming environment for Filipino small-scale farmers. This is, uh, ito po yung pinaka-vision namin. Okay? That's why for this one, no, I would like to give you a, a bird's eye view on, on what we're doing. Based on the agricultural best practices like media preparation, crop cultivation, crop management, with the assistance of our, yeah, si Sir Mike, no? Our agriculturist, our consultant. We would like to input our uh, expertise in manufacturing as far as developing the human side is concerned, inventory management, no? this is one of the strengths ng Japanese JIT system, no? just in time, we would like to uh, infuse in agriculture yung process design and standardization, kung mapapansin nyo ang layout namin and also the way we, uh, we uh, design no? yung, yung pinaka farm is uh, pinapattern namin on the thinking way ng manufacturing. No? Yung, yung should be smooth flow, it, the products should flow like water. Yan, yan yung mga basic concept ng Japanese in uh, manufacturing. Then, one of our strength is yung production control. No? Ayaw namin na mag-produce kami, then may matatapon. Okay? 
So based on customer requirements, we planned it based on the cycle time ng ng growth ng mga herbs and the uh, yung mga leafy vegetables. Then we planned it based on the forecast. Okay. Then last, ato yung IoT system. No. Actually, what you can see here is just uh, parang well, what we can say is a byproduct. Pero ang ultimate goal namin is to provide an IoT and automation system. Okay? Uh, I-level up namin yung agriculture using IoT. Okay? So, all the parameters like temperature, humidity, provide the auto-dosing system, yung EC levels, no? All can be uh, managed sa handphone. Then, the farmers can manage through the, this kind of data and make the proper analysis so they can make proper countermeasures. Okay? Then, last is yung cold chain solutions. Okay? Cold chain, yun yan, sabi ko sa inyo, yung earlier, yung transport from farm to market. They also have uh, another product for refrigeration system. No? We would like to professionalize this one so that we can uh, reduce yung spoilage coming from the farm. Okay? So that's, that's how uh, how we envision ang, ang, ang uh, Philippine agriculture. That's why this, this uh, business actually doon nakapattern doon sa thinking way namin. So this is our greenhouse. So greenhouse 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is the one that we have 80 varieties. This is the challenge kasi 80 varieties in one greenhouse is very difficult to, ano, mm -hmm. to grow. So but I mean, we have agriculturists and Sir Mike is also there to uh, support us. Okay, let's go. Yes, sir. Last week, nandun tayo sa Thailand at pinakita nila yung mga production nila ng mga uh, ornamental plants at so, sobrang ganda rin ng mga greenhouses nila uh, Ngayon, dito sa Denso makikita nyo, maganda rin at uh, super ganda rin ng mga tanim nila So, somehow sabi nga natin nung andun tayo parang pangarap na lang ba na makikita sa Pilipinas but apparently, no? After the trip from Thailand, ma na invite tayo dito sa den so at nakita natin na super ganda rin ng kanila ng facility. <laughs> Talaga, pwede. Yes, sir. Pwede, sir. Oh. sir. Ano May po siya? Po tayo. Actually, all all edibles po siya. So ready to eat. Anong masarap? So ready to Ito, eat sir. daw po. So, so, siguro. Apo. Anong part? So, kung gusto niyo pong tikman, fresh na fresh po. Apo, any part sir, actually pwede. Bite. So fresh. Ito. Man. Yeah, okay po. Mm. Any part actually pwede siya. Ang payat. Hindi <laughs> <laughs> ko kaya. Ganun po pala maging kambing. <laughs> Wala kaming in-spray dyan. So it's very, very safe. So I would suggest po, wag po kayong matakot na tikman. Para at least you will know all the flavor profiles. Especially for those crops na hindi siya wildly available sa market. Para po ano, because I think what we want to prove here is eating healthy, hindi siya, it doesn't have to be boring or nakakatakot kasi feeling nila parang kambing lang pagka kumakain. Eh, ang normally alam lang nila, letsugas, mga ganun. So parang in here, we would like to show you that you can mix and match different leafy greens in your salads or other, um, ang tawag dito? Other cuisines, parang yung sinong case namin doon po. So yun. Yan po. Usod po tayo dito kasi yung root po ning, ng field trip inside greenhouse is pa ganun eh. So better po. Ano. Mm. Ito masarap. Yeah. Sir, mas masarap yung naan doon. Yung ano, yung giant namin. Oo, oh, parang... Yes. <laughs> Ayan. Parang glorified kambig lang. <laughs> Ruminant <Ayan>. ka na. <laughs> Pasok po tayo. Ayan si Sir Mike. Pagka meron kami hindi masagot, si Sir Mike po yung sasagot. Ayan. So, good morning everyone. Good morning po ulit. So, welcome sa Greenhouse 2 namin. Again, um, thank you very much for coming over. At first, I would like to introduce that team to you. Um, gusto ko lang po, disclaimer lang po. Um, I think 
even though we started this smart agritech farm, hindi namin ito specialty. Actually, pag buuin nyo na po ako ng kotse, kayang-kaya ko. Kasi auto parts manufacturer po talaga to. Pero since last year, we decided to ano to go into this kind of business. So talagang newbies pa lang po kami. So kung tatanungin nyo po ako kung paano pinatutubo to, hindi po technically masasagot. Basically, that's why we have our agricultural expert, Sir Mike. But then, and also I would like to let you know, yung lahat po ng team namin dito, what we call ambidextrous organization, hindi po talaga ito yung main job namin. Um, Sideline lang po namin ito. Ako po, yung expertise ko talaga is HR, LND, etc., etc., finance, ISD, accounting, etc., etc. Again, welcome to Greenhouse 3. Basically po, we have four greenhouses here. That is Greenhouse 1. 2, 3, and 4. For the greenhouse one, yan lang po yung naiiba. Kasi in here, we have the nursery as well as our end and flow wherein we will uh, we do our seedling as well as yung microgreens namin. And then, for the seedling, after 2 weeks, saka namin siya tinatransplant sa greenhouse 2, 3, and 4 po. And then, in here, we do not use any soil. So, we use soilless farming. So, therefore, we have ebb and flow. And in here, we have substrate. So, we basically use coco peat as well as river sand. And then, we have recirculating water inside our greenhouses. So, wala po kaming tapon na tubig. Nagtatap up lang po kami because of evaporation or pagka kinakainan ng mga plants namin yung tubig namin. So, very matipid po siya. So, yun po yung basic ano namin. Tapos, in here, in the greenhouse, if you can notice, sorry naman, masyadong mainit. Uh, you need to wear this one kasi we have very strict biosecurity protocol kasi ayaw namin mapasukan po kami ng mga pests or possibly disease kasi as much as possible our basic policy hindi kami talaga mag-spray ng pesticide unless na talagang kailangan-kailangan namin we have very very um, antal, small kasi 0.5 mesh lang po siya para to prevent yung mga pests kaya po sobrang init din and if you notice masyado po mataas yung greenhouse kasi we have low elevation para po yung uh, flow ng hangin is mas maganda para mas maganda po for the plants. So, yun po yung basic ano namin dito. And then, um, we have the pump. Kasi basically for the plants, di ba, ang piece na ka importante is the EC and pH measurement. For now, we do it manually. However, until March 2023, we hope to um, develop our own irrigation as well as monitoring system. So, yun po talaga yung pinaka ano namin kasi yung strength ng Denso naman is technology talaga. So, gusto po namin i-try to develop our own. That's why through Denso Philippines Engineers as well as yung design center namin kasi Denso Philippines also has a design center in Alabang as well as yung sister company namin which is Denso Techno, sila yung bahala sa software. So, hardware development is for us, Denso Philippines Manufacturing and for the software development, that is for Denso Techno. So, hopefully po, uh, pag na-release na namin yung prototype, you can come over and check. Kasi ang pinaka-main selling point namin for that one is we would like to develop a low-cost automation system na suitable for small-scale farms dito sa Philippines. Kasi na, alam, as you know naman po, very expensive yung mga automation dito. It goes up to 1 million, 2 million, which is not very accessible sa small-scale farmers namin. Kaya we decided to help out Philippine agriculture by developing such kind of automation with FIOT na po siya. So, yun po yung ano namin. So, with that, um, again, in here po, very clean siya. So, as we go along the plant tour with our agriculturists, you can ask questions as well as you can also taste po. Huwag po kayo matakot to taste so that you will know the different flavor profiles ng mga nakatanim po dito. So, okay lang po. Very safe po siya. Para pagdating nyo po sa dulo, busog na po kayo. Pagdating nyo na lang po doon, dressing na lang po yung kakainin nyo. Tapos, i-mix-mix nyo na lang po inside the stomach. Okay po. And I'm Sham. So, welcome to our greenhouse too. As you can see, it's very colorful with different shades of green, red, and purple. So, I'm excited to show you or introduce you uh, some of the crops that we have here. So, this started as a challenge for our team since this is the first time that we are growing 80 different varieties in the same greenhouse using the same nutrient tank that we supply to all of the crops. So, here we have different kinds of herbs brassicas and lettuces that I'd like to show you. So you can follow me po. We'll go about this po. So here po we have our chives and here this is our sorrel. If you 
If you would like to taste, you can get the baby leaf po of sorrel. It has a citrusy taste po. Sour taste. So it's a good addition to your salads because you can see the red veins to give your salad color. And then we have here our parsley and our Swiss chard. So for this variety, we, also, we only have this colored stock. But we already have tried different colored stocks of Swiss chard. And then here po, we have our spearmint. If you had your iced tea kanina in the office, mm. it's part of the iced tea, the spearmint. So you can also taste our spearmint. And this is our tatsoy, so one of our Asian greens. Tatsoy? Tatsoy. And here po, we have our celery. Lumpiang siya. <laughs> <laughs> for lumpiang siya. <laughs> and also our spinach and our thyme. So this is also an herb. Yeah. So if you'd like to taste po our herbs, you can do so. So kunwari kumakain ako ng pansit. Mmm! <laughs> so, yung time. time po. Time. Uh, this, sir, is our dill. So, it is an herb you can put on your uh, salmons. For if you had yung chips kanina, we also have our dill dip. So, you can taste po. It has a fresh minty taste. Mm -hmm. So don't be afraid to try it. Menthol. Sorry. Hindi dip ba dong ani? Yes. And here po, we have our baby lettuces. And so, baby lettuces. So, some of our customers would like to have this size of lettuces. So, based on our customer requirements, uh, we can grow them baby or mature. Here po, we have our holy Thai basil. And our coriander. Basil. Basil. So let's move over to our day two. Okay po. So here po is our Mizuna. This is a Japanese vegetable. So it can be eaten raw or cooked. So we can also grow this as microgreen. And then we also have two different kinds of arugula. So this is our baby leaf arugula and the rocket type arugula. So if you would like to taste the arugula, it has a peppery, nutty flavor. So the difference between these two arugula, the baby arugula has a stronger taste. Sarap. Yes, you can taste po our arugula, so you can know the nutty, peppery flavor. Sarap niya arugula. So it's also a good mix to your salads because of its taste. And then we have here our red amaranth. Parang ornamental, ha? Yes, <laughs> And here we have different varieties of komatsuna. So, komatsuna is... Um, Parang pechay? Yes, po. So, it's a native of Japan. Ah. So, we have different kinds of uh, varieties of komatsuna. So, it can be eaten raw or cooked. So, depending on your uh, preference, kung ano po yung leaf size, 
leaf uh, green shade. And then we Maganda have two kale. different varieties of flat leaf kale. So this is a flat leaf kale. Ganda. <laughs> so kale po is a super food. Mm -hmm. So very rich in vitamins and minerals. So if you had your kale chips kanina sa office, ito po yan. Ayan na, yung mahal. <laughs> yan na yung pang pwede pang regalo. Yes po. Ah, this one. This one po are our bunching onions. So bunching onions po are used in Asian and Southeast Asian cuisines. Mm -hmm. So part of the soups or uh, okay, so sauces. So if you pull it, it has no bulb under. <laughs> you, we use the leaves po for onion the flavor. Leaks. It has a mild onion taste. But it's not really onion. <laughs> and then we have here our perilla. Yeah, so some recognize this perilla as uh, part of the samgyupsan. <laughs> Oh. For Korean restaurants, if you had so an alternative to lettuces, perilla. Mm. If you can taste, ano naman lasa ni pero it has a fresh um, taste, different from the taste of lettuces. Mm. Perilla. So Korean and Japanese cuisines use this perilla. And then we have here our Japanese spinach varieties. So it can be eaten also raw or cooked. Masarap. Masarap doon. Perilla. And more varieties of banchito onions. So moving to our greenhouse, uh, sorry, bay tree. Here we have different kinds of baby lettuces. So you can see different shades and shapes of our lettuces. Baby lettuces. Puro lettuce na to. Yes, sir. Lettuces. And so we have some more of the baby lettuces. And our specialty lettuces are here po. So from mm. this to the end po, we have the snacking lettuces. So they are crunchy and grown as baby leaf. So if you can see the shape of the snacking lettuces, it's like a spoon. Mm -mm. So in Europe, they use this as a appetizer so they can put meat, cheese, or anything here po, and then served in a plate so they can use it as uh, appetizer or snack. It's like a spoon, which is not available yet in the market. And then you can just so if you taste it, sweet and crunchy. Like tuna or brown beef. Parang spoon. So it's cute po. And moving over to our last bay. So here we have our specialty lettuces. So they are Sola Salanova lettuces po. So if you can see, they have many leaves po. So they have three times more leaves than other lettuces. So Salanova lettuces varieties po are also called one-cut lettuce. So if you one cut, cut the base... The That's leaves it. will fall off and ready to serve the pot for your salads. So in this bay, we have different kinds, shapes, and colors of Salanova lettuces po. So, up. so depending on your preference. And these lettuces are also grown as baby lettuces. This is nice. Ganda. Yes, sir. <laughs> So you can just cut it on the center or at the base and it one cut lettuce. Yes po. So in this uh, Salanova varieties po, so we have Batavia lettuces and also Butterhead lettuces po, like this one. Ganda? Yes sir. 
<laughs> and the freely lettuce. Ang ganda, oh. Na? <laughs> Ang ganda. Kapukha tayo. Oo, oh, yes. Kapukha tayo. JL. JL. Kuha ka nga, no? Oo, oh, oh, kukupit. Soiless. So, here po, we have our baby kale. So, you can see po, it has two different shapes. So, one is like a Christmas leaf. <laughs> And one is like an autumn leaf. <laughs> yeah. So it is also a good addition to your salads because of the purple stock. So Christmas like uh, shape. Ayan, imimix mo to, yung arugula at saka lettuce. Mm, sarap. Sarap. Based on your wide experience, mm. anong anong masasabi niyo sa ano na greenhouse na? Well, actually, last week, magkakasama kami na Sir Mike sa Thailand. Ah, Tapos, yeah, okay, sobrang yeah. impressed kami doon sa nakikita namin. Sabi namin, ano ba ito? Pangarap na lang ba sa Pilipinas? Okay. Tapos, a week after, nakita namin. Maganda. Ah, <laughs> parang, what you saw in Thailand is the same as what we have here. In terms of yung the technology. Yeah. Yeah. That's why we need Toyota to show Philippine support next day. Of course, the lowest, the cheapest IoT system that we can uh, develop locally. Of course. Of course. We'll uh, try to support this. Yeah. Actually, that's our next vision as well. Uh, to support as well the country business in the Philippines, not just for automotive. Basically, Toyota is into automotive, but we would like as well to help the agriculture sector in the Philippines yeah. in one way or another. So we will decide by next year, hopefully, the final design version, step one of IoT. Phase one. Phase one. Then? Step by step, we add on. What you saw there is pano, mga leafy vegetables? No, it's uh, annual flowers in greenhouse. Ah. Annual flowers in flowers. There are then vegetables, but more on flowers. Uh, then you market nila more on the hotels yung ganun, yung for decorative mas, purposes? Mas, ano sila eh, mas, mas advanced yung industry nila eh. Like, for example, dito sa Philippines, you cannot see a, um, let's say, uh, grass for landscaping. Okay. Diba? Dito, you have to order it, diba? Yes. And i-deliver nila. Doon, nasa stores, yung grass, ah, na natural, parang... Natural grass? Na parang ah, tiles type. Oh, okay. Doon sa mga stores. Ibig sabihin... So, if I'm the house owner, bibili ko, eh, may bibili mo. Ko lang. Hmm. May it. bibili mo, oh. Sa atin Parang walang ganoon. DIY. DIY. Uh, sa atin oh. walang ganoon. Okay. Ibig sabihin, yung demand nila mas malaki. Uh -huh. Mas ano sila, pati household mas mas aral. Okay. okay. Sa kalahat ng mga things na you needed for kahit mga ganito na pang DIY, mga uh -huh. small parts ganyan, nandoon lahat, mabibili mo lahat sa mga stores. Dito wala eh, walang ganoon eh. Wala walang stores na nag nag-specialize sa mga ganun. Kaya yung small farmer, parang napaka-foreign sa kanya na mag-set up ng kahit small greenhouse. Kasi wala naman siyang mabibilan eh. Doon, pwede. Available siya sa market. Lahat ng kailangan mo for plants, for planting, for agriculture. Oh, pa parang mayroon silang wilcon na pang agri. It's a uh, dating, di ba dati meron tayong Manila Seedling Bank? Uh -huh. Bigger than that. Much, much bigger than Manila Seedling Bank before. Very interesting. Uh -huh. Ano magiging market niya dito? Well, okay. As of now, initially we're going into the institutional buyers. Mm -hmm. na mga Groceries, online, yeah. supermarkets. Yes, so uh, actually based on current demand right now, we're reaching around 80 to 85 percent capacity now. Mm -hmm. no? So slowly, step by step, uh, we're introducing to the local market. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned, the, our main goal is to uh, produce IoT systems, automation, 
So later part this year, uh, actually we're now on the prototype stage. Mm. You know? Then by next year, we intend to produce, uh, produce and uh, introduce to the local market the IoT system. Okay, for for those who wanted to establish their own greenhouses, then yes, or do, do uh, if you, they have existing greenhouse, mm -hmm. they want to automate and use mm -hmm. IoT, then uh, in your target market that we are eyeing, mm -hmm. the lowest, the cheapest, most reliable uh, data that you can get, so that you can link them to produce more. Uh, yun yung, yung so this means uh, even the small stakeholders yes possible right. yeah. so maybe even without the greenhouse uh, step by step dosing system muna. Mm -hmm. so yeah because the local farmers cannot afford to invest Correct. outright in yeah. greenhouse right uh -huh. so maybe yun muna then as the production increases more income then maybe later on okay invest on ano, mm -hmm. para, so then, hindi lang so it's not just for vegetables mm -hmm. but the other crops probably yeah. uh, fruit bearing trees yes, probably correct then later on maybe we can go into livestock and okay. even livestock yeah even livestock wow. actually we are discussing with one of the uh, livestock um, farm in mm -hmm. central Luzon mm -hmm. then uh, they're interested actually to uh, no, to partner with us how to produce this IOT system so nice. that's a uh, bigger picture of Ayan. what we are so eyeing. magbabago yung tingin natin sa Philippine agriculture ah, hopefully hopefully <laughs> and uh, yun nga food security of the Philippines we want to contribute talaga mm -hmm. Ayan. thank you sige sir thank you thank you Ay, ito naman yung logistics part okay. later on diba normal farmers they, they, they give them uh, the jeep lock. okay so we're using talaga cold van no? okay sir ang tanong ko paano mo babaguhin yun yeah yan kasi yung challenge di ba it's, it's, it's part of the Filipino culture na yan yes eh. yung trading correct. the traditional trading correct. paano nina harvest paano nakakarating sa trading post di ba correct, correct lahat yan walang post harvest handling yeah. pero nabuhay sila for so many years yes. sa ganun paano mo babaguhin yun yeah. actually one of idea we need to collaborate with the government not only for the gov from the government but also from the private sector mm -hmm. actually that's why ISOC is here no? sila yung uh, cold chain specialist mm -hmm. sa Orca no? mm -hmm. so they can provide some insights and we can devise ways how to have it uh, transport from Baguio to Manila mm -hmm. without affecting too much cost because mm -hmm. 40% mo na yan, actually is already affecting your cost eh, right? Mm -hmm. so how to do it Yun yung, yun yung challenge. We have to sit down, study how to make an efficient logistics system for the agricultural products. Mm -mm. And hopefully with the assistance of government, then we can do it definitely. Mm -mm. I'm positive we can do it. Okay, sir, sa Philippines, okay, um, yung uh, fresh market, the, the, the mm -hmm. fresh market, yeah. which is yung mga fresh produce uh, na dinadala sa mga supermarket. Mm. Though malaki siya, but the bulk of the produce of the Filipino farmers still goes to the traditional palengke. Ah, okay. Probably the, 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 the produce no, mm. for fresh na going to the groceries are just probably 10%. Yeah, yeah. 90% will go to the okay. ordinary palengke. Pa paano natin yun, sir? Pasensya na na, sir. <laughs> kasi total gusto rin na lang natin yeah. i-uplift. So, yeah. th those Honestly, are concerns na kailangan natin talaga. On the logistics talaga. side pa, pa lang, uh, we're just starting to study how to. Mm -hmm. no? So, hopefully, uh, yeah, with our current system, JIT, Mm -hmm. What the market demands, we we uh, we harvest early in the morning and when we deliver on or before 10 a.m. or even 8 o'clock a.m. depending on customer requirements. Mm -hmm. Yun muna pina practice namin how 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 efficient can we we mm -hmm. uh, do that. Mm -hmm. Then maybe later on, based on the the learnings that we learn from them, papano natin yung dadalens dun sa normal so, produce, malahe. yeah. Then, papunta dun sa market. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, well, hopefully, we can sit down with other experts and uh, ano, 
provide insights how to mm. make it more efficient. Mm. Yun ang point. Because that's so alone, we cannot do it by ourselves. Eh. Mm -mm. Yeah. Sir, for this model, uh, sino yung target na who can afford this kind of model? Ah. Honestly, in Philippines, I'm not yet. If I honestly speaking, I'm not yet. But because uh, I'm post harvest, sometimes, ano lang eh, nanjan lang, ah. nasa, di ba? These are basically, ano, yan yung mga materials na ginamit. And these are scraps uh -huh. coming from our factory. We yeah. just recycle. Yeah. So, as far as the market is concerned, hopefully, later on, as we progress yung mga local farmers, mm -hmm. so hopefully, yung mga small-scale farmers can also have this kind yeah. of system. Or some mga cooperatives, um, probably. Yep. Doesn't have pero to be this big. Parang simplified na to. Yeah. Simplified doesn't na to. have to be this big, pero mas uh, we can be more simple pa dito. Mm -hmm. no? Pero ang, ang key point dito is yung process. Eh. Yeah. How to check. No? Nagro-rotate yan. Uh, mm -hmm. from, from Denso to customer. Rotate. Then, para yung backload mo, pabalik. Madana lang. Yeah. Galing. So, returnable siya. Then, our cold chain, this one. We're partnering with Gino as well. Actually, I established the cold chain business and then, so, five years ago. Aha. These are food grade. Uh -oh. Food grade lahat ng materials. Then, uh, then so yung refrigerator. Oh, nice. Yeah. Then the body is constructed by Hino. Mm -hmm. So, once we deliver, 5 degrees inside should be. Because even if you check the standard transport temperature for mm -hmm. leafy vegetables, mm -hmm. it's 5 degrees. So, we transport it at 5 degrees. Okay, ma'am. Ma'am Alali. Ma'am, basically, itong ginawa nating event ay ano yung essence niya? Actually, it, we would just like to show po how we integrated Denso's manufacturing strength with Philippine agriculture's best practices. So, gusto po namin ipakita na by integrating our strength, mm -mm. mapapataas po namin yung productivity as well as efficiency ng Philippine agriculture, which can help our small-scale farmers po. So, basically, yun po talaga yung gusto namin ano dito, um, i-emphasize. Mm -mm. So, kasi dito, na-showcase din namin kung paano namin in-standardize yung process namin, mm -mm. even yung mga quality criteria. Kaya po, na patubo namin yung mga 80 varieties of different crops sa greenhouse na yun. Mm -hmm. Okay ma'am, uh, sino po ang mga ano, um, possible na uh, pwedeng mag-adapt ng mga technologies na pinakita ninyo? Uh, ang target talaga namin are small scale farmers so we can help up those people who are interested to invest into uh, very very small investment ng aming um, equipment na gagawin mm -hmm. para mas mapa-increase po nila yung productivity as well as efficiency nila. So yung mga different LGUs po na gustong pumunta din, we are very much welcome to show yung or showcase kung paano nila magagamit po yung system. Mm -hmm. When you say small, ano yung, ano, paano natin di-describe yung small? Um, those like with less than one hectare farms po, they can okay. come over. So kahit na 0.1, 0.2, mm -hmm. so yun po. Even hobbyists or backyard farmers, they can also use this mm -hmm. system. So pag ito ma'am uh, na, na spread natin to, ano magiging impact niya? I think this can parang ano, at least it's the right step towards um, pag-increase ng agricultural productivity ng Philippines kasi as we know left behind na tayo ng mga Thailand, yes. ng Vietnam. So parang di ba before tarang, ta, parang tayo yung star ng Asia pero unti-unti mm. um, nag-decline. So gusto namin parang ibalik yung glory ng Philippine <laughs> agriculture. Yung mga interested na audience natin, paano sila to keep in touch with you? Uh, they can get in touch with Sir Joseph Mendoza. Siya yung aming new business development uh, manager namin po. Ayan, Sir Joseph. Ayan. Yeah, ayan. Ayan. So, si Sir Joseph naman kasama natin ngayon. Sir, pa, you, nakita natin impressive yung ginawa ninyo. 
talaga. Thank you. Uh, at, uh, Thank you. Iyon nga, ito yung finally no na ma- ma-upload natin yung Philippine Education. Doon sa mga interested sir na audience natin, paano sila magki-keep in touch? With you? Okay, you can visit our website denso.com.ph or you can uh, contact me directly through my handphone mm-hmm. 0918-916-5526 Ayan. Okay. Sir, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much for uh, visiting us. Available na po ang Agribusiness Merch sa Shopee. Ang link na sa description box. Mamalengke Online sa onlinepalengke.com Your original, trustworthy online palengke. Thank you sa mga donors sa aming Give a Grocery to Farm Workers Project. For donations, contact us. Pwede rin sa YouTube Thanks. Just click the Thanks button. Agribusiness How It Works. Instruct. Inspire. Succeed.